Well, we are dealing with um, uh, a, a lot of new information that, that came in, um, basically dealing with who, uh, the, not only the suspect, but who was actually shot, and also learning that the suspect was definitely one of those people who uh, was also hit by a bullet. Um, family and friends of Davon Dabbs were in the courtroom today, but so were friends of the man he is accused of killing. Freddie 39, Freddie shooting multiple victims. For Carroll County Sheriff's deputies and other area law enforcement agencies, it started as a call on the 4th of July about shots fired at the intersection of Bear Run and Runnymede Roads in Tawnytown. Investigators learned it was a deadly road rage incident. So I was sitting on my back porch and I was actually watching the fireworks from a distance. And so I just thought the noise that I had heard was just the fireworks. Over the weekend, police arrested 20-year-old Davon Dabbs of Tawnytown. He is charged with first-degree murder and assault. Today, he appeared in court but waived his bail review. He is accused of shooting 36-year-old Christopher Moore II. Moore's friends and family set up a GoFundMe page. On it, they say Moore was a non-commissioned officer in the Maryland Army National Guard and a volunteer firefighter. According to a court charging document, the road rage incident initially began on Route 140 between a pickup truck and a car. The vehicle stopped. Several people got out and started fighting. Moore's fiance arrived at the scene and saw him being assaulted. She announced having a handgun, hoping to de-escalate the assault. The court record indicates Dabbs rushed at her and a physical assault ensued for possession of the firearm, resulting in Dabbs being shot in the leg. He was able to get the gun. He assaulted her with multiple strikes to the face. She suffered a broken jaw. The charging document states Dabbs fired multiple shots, Moore was hit twice in the chest, and a passenger who was in Dabbs' vehicle was struck in the hand. Well, it's terrible that something like that happens, especially in a quiet community like this, you know. Dabs is scheduled to have another court appearance. It is set for August 6th. That is a preliminary hearing. Reporting live from Westminster, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.